welcome to my channel and today we are going to make some copper hydroxide so first we need some copper sulfate here blue crystals and i want some ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide so first we want some 100 milliliters of water then i add some 5 grams of copper sulfate to the water and dissolve it well. okay now i measure out 5 grams of copper sulfate here and now i put this copper sulfate to the water and dissolve it well copper sulfate solution so now I have ammonia solution here aqueous ammonia solution so first I mix copper sulfate and ammonia solution so you can see there is copper hydroxide and the top layer is ammonium compound of copper so we totally dissolve this ammonia and we have to make that dark blue solution first Now we have dark blue color copper compound solution so we keep it in a side and now we want to make sodium hydroxide solution so we now I have some water here in this beaker and there is sodium hydroxide dissolve this sodium hydroxide ok now you can see here is our sodium hydroxide solution so now we add this sodium hydroxide to this dark blue color solution then we can see here the copper hydroxide will precipitate Now you can see here the copper hydroxide Now we add all of sodium hydroxide into the solution so now you can see the copper hydroxide precipitate 
the ice copper hydroxide okay back in a moment okay now you can see here all of copper hydroxide precipitate out so now I remove first remove this excess solution Now I filter this over hydroxide. Okay, now you can see there is copper hydroxide and there is excess water solution. So then we wash the copper hydroxide. Okay, uh, we can wash this copper hydroxide few times and we dry the copper hydroxide. Do not heat the mixture because copper hydroxide will decompose to copper oxide and water. And we use this copper hydroxide in future video to make copper oxide okay back in a moment okay now you can see here i filter the all of copper hydroxide here now i want to dry it so first i get this filter paper Okay, and now you can see here the, this is copper hydroxide. So now I keep this copper hydroxide in a warm place. So then we can dry this copper hydroxide well and, and last we can measure it how much is the copper hydroxide we are made. Okay, now you can see this is our final product, copper hydroxide. We start from copper sulfate and finish it by copper hydroxide. In next video, I will show you how to make copper 2 oxide from, make from this copper hydroxide. Thanks for watching.